Hello and welcome to our new YouTube tutorial. In this video we're going to create an animated earth which you see here on the page. We'll build this project using pure HTML and CSS. As you can see we have here two different parts. On the left side we have the dark part of the earth and on the right side there is a light part of the earth. The earth itself is rotating according to its y-axis. Alright, so that's it about this project. Let's go ahead and get started. I've created a new folder on the desktop called Animated Earth, in which we have another folder for the images. Let's go ahead and open this folder in VS Code and then create our working files for HTML and for CSS. Okay, let's open the index.html file and create a basic HTML document. For that, we have to place here an exclamation mark and then hit tab or enter so here we go first of all I'm going to change the title it's going to be animated earth then let's link the CSS file open link tag and specify the name of the file all right let's go ahead and run the project to the browser using live server and then place the editor and the browser side by side. So we are ready to start to write the code. At first I'm going to create the HTML markup. Let's open a div tag with the class wrapper. So inside of the wrapper we will have two different elements. I mean the day part and the night part. So let's open div tag with the classes earth and day. Then duplicate this line of code and change the class name we need night all right so that's it about the html markup let's go ahead and start to write some css first of all i'm going to create some reset styles for every element let's go ahead and select the asterisk and get rid of the default margin and padding from every element i'm going to set both properties to zero throughout this project i'm going to use ram as the measurement unit Right now, one RAM equals 16 pixels, and I want to make it equal to 10 pixels. For that, we have to decrease the font size of the HTML element. Let's make it 62.5%. All right, let's go ahead and customize the body elements. I'm going to define width and height. The width is going to be 100%. As for the height, I'm going to make it 100% of the viewport. And now it's time to take care of the wrapper. Let's go ahead and select this element and first of all define its width. I'm going to set it to 80 RAM. I want the same height for the wrapper, I mean 80 RAM. And for that we can use one of the CSS properties called aspect ratio. If we set it to 1, then it will mean that the height of the wrapper will be 80 RAM. But if we change the width, then the height will be changed accordingly. Okay, next I'm going to set the background color. Let's use some temporary background. I'm going to use BBB and also make the element rounded using border radius 50%. Okay, after that I'm going to place the wrapper in the center perfectly and I'm going to do that using positions. We need position absolute. Then we have to define top and left properties. I'm going to set both positions to 50%. And then in order to place the element in the center perfectly, we need to use transform with translate function. And we have to pass here minus 50% for the x and y directions. Okay, so that's it regarding the wrapper. It's placed in the center. Now I'm going to take care of the earth. As you know, we have two different elements. I mean the day and the night parts. So let's select both elements using the common class name. First of all, I'm going to define the width. Let's make it 100%. As for the height, I'm going to use again the property called aspect ratio with the value 1. Then set the position to absolute and also make the element rounded using border radius 50 percent 
So now both elements are placed on top of each other, I mean on that circle. And now we can define the backgrounds for both parts. Let's select the first one, D, and define background image. Let's define the path of the image. We have the folder called images and we have to select Earth Day JPG. So here we have the background image. This is the light part. Let's go ahead and do the same for the night part as well. Actually, I'm going to duplicate this code. Let's change the class name. We need here night. And also change the name of the image. We need night as well. Okay, so now we see here the background image of the night part. It happens because both elements have position absolute and the day part ended up behind the night one. So the next thing that we are going to do is to cut the half part of the night. In order to do that, I'm going to use one of the CSS properties called clip path. I'm going to insert here the values and then I will show you where you can find the information about this property. So we need polygon and the values will be the following. We need zero twice, then 50%, zero, then 50% and 100%, then zero and 100%. So as you can see, the half part of the night is cut off. Let's go ahead and search for clip path in Google. So this is the website where you can play around with different shapes. Once you get your needed shape, then you can simply grab the proper CSS code from here and use it in your project. So this is the very useful website and you can visit it. Okay, let's go ahead and start to work on the animation. I'm going to create CSS keyframes with the name Earth Anim. So we're going to manipulate the background positions. We will have just two steps from 0% to 100%. We will change the position of the background by the exact same distance that the image has as the width. So at 0%, the background position is going to be zero and center. And then at 100%, the background position is going to be 192 RAM is the width of the image and then the center. All right, let's go ahead and apply those styles to the elements. Both parts will have the same animation. So we need here the name of the animation followed by the duration, which is going to be 25 seconds. Then I want the animation to run infinitely. So we need infinite and also the animation is going to be linear. Okay, so as you can see, the animation works perfectly and we have a nice day and night effect. Before we finish this video, I'm going to add some shadows to the earth. For that, I'm going to use before pseudo element. So let's select wrapper with before pseudo element. Actually, I'm going to give this element the exact same shape that the wrapper has. So let's define the content. It's going to be empty. Then I'm going to set position to absolute. Also, I'm going to define width and height. Let's make both of them 100%. And then use some temporary background color. B, B, B. As you can see, the element ended up behind the wrapper. We don't need that. We have to place it in front of the earth. For that, I'm going to use the Z-index property and also make the element rounded. So the Z-index property is going to be 10. We need here a higher value than 0. As for the border radius, I'm going to set it to 50%. All right, let's get rid of this background from here. And also, I'm going to get rid of the background for the wrapper as well. So we will have a couple of different shadows. The one will be around the earth. And besides that, we will have two different shadows for the night and day parts. So let's use box shadow with the values minus one RAM, minus one RAM, 
two RAM and the color four four four. Then we need one RAM twice, two RAM and the same color. So now we have the shadow around the earth. As for the shadows inside the element, let's insert here, inset, 10 rem, 0, 5 rem, and the black color. And then we need again inset, minus 1 rem, 0, 2 rem, and as the color I'm going to use C9. C3, C3. Alright, so that's it. Finally, the project is done. I hope it was interesting and you enjoyed it. If you like this video, then please thumbs up, comment below, share it, subscribe to our channel and click the bell to get notified on coming tutorials. See you next time.